Upgrade is one of those movies that accomplishes a lot with very little. And that is because Lee Wannell literally brought it home. Now, I met Lee Wannell when he was a film reviewer for a highly popular and extremely progressive Australian television show called Recovery in the 90s. And I'm sure for him, it was quite forgettable, but we chatted for a little while about movies and stuff, and he was a super nice guy. Over 20 years on, I'm having a midlife crisis, posing as a film reviewer in a flooded market, and discussing Upgrade, the latest movie from writer and director, Lee Wannell. I have wasted my life. And he's done pretty well for himself. Along with his buddy director James Wan, here's another fun fact, my wife went to school with him, so boy did she back the wrong horse. They have been a highly successful writer-director duo. They've achieved huge success with horror films like Saw and the Insidious movies, up until Insidious 3, where Wannell went solo and wrote and directed the whole shebang. Upgrade sees him hooking up with production studio Bloomhouse, a small budget somewhere in the vicinity of three to five million dollars, heading back home to Australia and branching out from horror into science fiction. The one thing that I have found apparent with his stories, which rings true from my brief meeting with him, is that he is a diehard fan of the craft and he wears his heart on his sleeve. Upgrade echoes elements of 2001 A Space Odyssey, Blade Runner, The Terminator, and could be seen as a bit of a fan letter to fellow directors John Carpenter and David Cronenberg. Can I have everybody's attention? I'm looking for the guys who murdered my wife. <laughs> it's part sci-fi thriller, part superhero action, and part horror. The story sees technophobe Grey Trace living in a world that is almost entirely automated. You could indeed say it was the not-too-distant future, I guess. Self-driving cars, automated houses, neighbourhood surveillance by drones, and augmented humans running around with all sorts of weird and wonderful modifications. Grey isn't so fond of having everything done for him by machines and spends his time restoring old-school cars like Trans Ams. He's an analogue guy trapped in a digital world. Early on, Grey is rendered a quadriplegic at the hands of some pretty nasty bad guys. However, his tragedy is science's opportunity, and he puts himself forward for a procedure that sees a chip called STEM inserted in his neck to reconnect the severed spinal cord and restore his mobility. Now, as the title of the film suggests, he gets the bonus plan, and his upgrade puts him on a course to find the people who ruined his life and bring them to justice. As a quadriplegic, must be frustrating for you, someone who likes to get things done with their hands. Here's the thing. Four guys murdered my wife. Don't you fucking catch up! If I could find these men, I'd do it. What if I told you I could offer you something that would enable you to walk again? I call it STEM. A computer chip that has the potential to change everything. The cast are all pretty great, but most of the screen time is eaten up by Logan Marshall Green as Grey. It makes sense given he's the lead. He puts in a performance that is not only emotional, but very physical. Betty Gabriel does Tenacious really well as Detective Cortez. Melanie Vallejo does Squeaky Clean as Grey's wife, Asher. Harrison Gilbertson brings the social awkwardness as entrepreneur Eron, and Benedict Hardy is the fantastic bad guy Fisk. He provides the perfect ruthless creep to counter Grey's confused hero. You could say that Upgrade is a cautionary tale about man's dependence on technology leading to our ultimate undoing, or in the shorter term, the dangers of self-driving cars. You could say it's a morality play about revenge, or you could just say it's a really good science fiction action flick. I especially liked that they turned Melbourne into a nondescript, futuristic city for the backdrop. I really liked the punk rock filmmaking, a lot of the practical effects and unconventional, sometimes nauseating camera work created a unique yet nostalgic feel, and the fight scenes were top notch with the right amount of physical comedy and shocking but well-timed gore. At first, Upgrade seems slightly derivative, and it does play out like an extended episode of Black Mirror, but it's more than that. The plot catches in on some tricks that have been done before, but it cleverly flips and twists past the point where you think you've figured it all out. While his mate James Wan has moved on to making blockbusters like The Fast and the Furious and Aquaman, 
Wannell has produced a really grounded, compelling and fun science fiction movie that harks back to the days where directors had to be practical and innovative to bring their ambitious stories to life. It's got heart, integrity and it's great to see him come home and work with the locals to make it happen. Upgrade gets 4 out of 5. I need your permission to operate independently. Permission granted! Oh. Thank you. Please take the time to subscribe and if you want more straight shooting reviews head to thewatchman.com.au